Okay, now we have our highlights finished. We need to go in and start adding the shadows. So I use a simple brown to just start lightly. We don't want to go in too dark yet. We'll just gradually get darker. Basically, at this point we add the brown color to all the areas that are left that the highlights haven't touched. The bridge of her nose, part of her chin, her face. Just go lightly. You don't want to go too dark right now. You can always get darker later. This part, adding the shadows in my opinion, takes the most patience because it looks awful at first. But it also takes the most experimentation. Once you have the light brown down, go ahead and use your colorless blender marker and blend it. And then over that, I go in with jade green, which is a nice gray green color. It sort of just covers that brown nicely, gives it a more realistic shadow look. This is really basically still the base color of the shadow. And once we have that down, we go in darker. Go ahead and do the eyebrows using a dark umber. We'll go in and start adding wrinkles under her eyes, the bridge of her nose, the lips, just adding those details to bring the features out in her face, show that she's an old witch. I know it's hard to see with my hand in the way, but I'm adding wrinkles to her forehead. We also go ahead and start adding a little darker color to the side shadows. You just have to sort of experiment and it's a lot of trial and error to know where the, those shadows would be darkest. Up near her hairline. Under her cap. The bridge of her nose especially. In areas of her neck to show those she's got really a wrinkled neck.